Capricorn. What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn for the month of October 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this space and that being motherfucking tired? Being motherfucking tired. Hmm. Hmm. Time to say something because focusing on that damn coin ain't fixing shit. All right. Let's get it. Hey, boo head, this is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. This break is getting on my nerves. Because the way I'm setting up, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, the readings, the love. Thank you so very much from the most humblest space ever. Thank you for also being a part of my soul family. Hey, boo hey, if you're a first time subscriber, welcome to the family, y'all. We're really dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight them for us. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Here, we cuss, we share, we laugh, we grow, we love, we evolve, we enlighten. Posy vibes only over here, all right? To the return returning subscribers, my words fucked up, y'all. Hey! <laughs> hey, boo hey, what's poppin'? Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. I was really, I was like Capricorns. Don't be like Taurus. I told y'all that. Did what you do? You're going to be like Taurus. So y'all almost didn't get video. And I'm only telling you here. You heard it here first because I love you. But because YouTube got this space age pimp pimping name, they just moved to the web. Pimp. They got this space age pimping shit going on. I cannot elaborate. I'm a businesswoman. Single mama. And I, my coin is, my coin nap. Mocha's coin naps. Lives matter, yes they do, but Mocha's coin matters. Okay, love y'all. Do better, please, because I love y'all. Let's get it. Cause I shouldn't have to give y'all the big spiel. I don't want to meet y'all in the park at three o'clock like I told them they fools. Just do better, cause I loves on y'all. So I need y'all to stop loving on me, okay? Cause if we had a reciprocation going on, and I liked it, what not or whatever. Let's get it. All right. This, uh, you guys. Please take what resonates and leave the hit. Leave what don't. If that motherfucker's shoe is too big, yeah, it's gonna fall. Don't try to make some shit fit that ain't for you. Leave it for somebody who it can fit for. Okay? You guys, um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found below within the description. Okay? Because I had to try and get my techie shit on when that's not my part. But I did it for you. So let's get it. Alright? This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus as well as the Cross Watchers. Uh, for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, um, I didn't actually write out any intuitive messages uh, for the month, except for, for the air signs, Sagittarius, um, and Virgo, because of their views for the previous time frame. Um, so again, I got to live on who living on me, okay? Period. Don't got to be explained. You guys know that. You're in that place right now. You got to live on who living on you, all right? So Intuitively for you all, what I'm feeling is there is you guys are fighting to hold on to a situation that is karmic in your life. Whether it's a person, place, or thing, a job, a situation, a circumstance, you're holding on to something that is extremely karmic in your life. For others of you, there's this need for you for you all to speak up about what's not being reciprocated in a long term commitment with somebody because some of you all feel as if you are the only one trying to bring some type of balance, spark, um, ambition, as well as compromise to a relationship and somebody just out here doing what the fuck they want. Want to do okay for some reason you guys could also be connected to an air sign gemini libra queries with that um in the month of october a lot of you all are making decisions on moving some of you all are also afraid of some type of surgery something about the foot okay so you guys be very very careful ladies in your heels be careful during this time capricorn something about a foot or the foot or the ankle okay for others of you i'm picking up something about the knee and up some of you all are holding a lot of weight and pressure in your back there's a need to forgive and i feel like you guys are suppressing things that you're not speaking about however you're not dropping the burden of these things you're continuously going with the flow praying and wishing that somebody just know what the fuck to do but everybody's not psychic so you're gonna have to trust yourself on this one and take some type of leadership in the situation some of you all are holding on to situations that are unhealthy due to children and your children are actually kind of seeing the shit that's unhealthy in your relationship and you, what you are doing is recreating cycles now we can sit here and paint this picture up and be like oh capricorn you know it's gonna no i'm not the motherfucking um What's, what they call the baker's man, the fucking mulberry bush lady. Whatever the fuck is in the fairy tale in your head, I ain't her. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell your ass how TI is and what a TI is. And a lot of you all are standing in unnecessary situations and dealing with unnecessary karma because it's attached to another person, place, or thing. Some of y'all is afraid to lose your job because you don't want to lose your job. Some of y'all are afraid to leave your job because you don't want to be seen as disloyal. But the motherfuckers they're gonna talk about you any fucking way. You looking over your shoulder and worried about what Mary Beth's fucking said at the receptionist this about your ass last week anyway. So what's the problem? Catch up, hot sauce. Let's do it. Come on. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the six of clubs, okay? So there could be harmonious outcomes if you choose to speak the hell up, okay? For some of you all, there's harmony and balance coming within the self and the work that's being done on the inner self. A lot of you all, that's being highlighted during the month of October, the work that you've done on yourself. So you are going to be in situations that test um, your growth and where you've been. Ain't hey, y'all connected to Saturn? That's some Saturn ass shit. All right, so let's get it. I'm going to start with the Oceans and the Tarot. I'm going to check on your subconscious space. What's going on with Capricorn's subconscious and the, and the conscious mind spirit? For the month of October, show me Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's, what, what, this is the book I said. I love when spirit cooked. Integration, okay? So for some of you all, speak the fuck up. You're stressed the fuck out. You're carrying a bunch of shit. Pressure bus pipes here. Your balloon, your air balloon is, you you about, you about to pop, okay? For some of you all, there is a new energy trying to be integrated within your life. Someone's coming in to help you, yet you're holding on to a situation that is the source of your motherfucking stress and your problem, okay? For some of you all, this is about self-mastery and mastering the art of the self, okay? For others of you, you may be seeing a lot of crickets during this time. For some of you all, you could be seeing white birds. Others of you could be seeing butterflies. And for some of you all, you're attracting moths having to do with your ancestors. Do not kill the moth. They only have a 24-hour lifespan. They only come and give you some love, and then they go off somewhere and live their best life and die, okay? Don't kill that. That's, that's your loved ones connecting with you, especially when they're white, okay? Um, for Also, if they're black, okay? But for some of you all, there's a need for you all to embrace the innocence um, in a situation. Some of you guys are holding on to some something or something that has a lot of turmoil that it, it has stirred within you. You're being triggered in the month of October. Now, this could have to do with a situation that you could have ended and walked away from, and now this person is coming back saying, I want to give and take. And for some of you all, you did manifest this sense of integration, but I feel like this integration that's coming into your life is new, and it's going to bring abundance, okay? So for some of you all, you could be on the verge of actually walking. You could be on the verge of ending something, but this needing to end in order for you to Start something new, something abundant, and actually flourish in something that you've already been working on. I tell anybody, if you want to know if you're in a karmic situation, look to your money. Look to your finances. If things begin to stagnate, slow the fuck down, you know, um, or just stop or cease completely, chances are you may need to reevaluate who you're fucking with and how needy they really are because spirit is not going to allow us to continuous, continually suffer behind someone else's downfalls. Period. It's a difference between compromising and just somebody just trying to get down on your ass. Period. All right, so let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my cappies in love? As well as just a general message for the month of October. What can they expect? Some of the events as well as the cross watchers for Capricorn for the month of October 2019. What can my Capricorns expect for the month of time? Okay. In the month of October, or love in general. Some of you all are starting something new with the Leo. Some of you guys are finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations. Mocha loves them kids. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Some of you all are freeing yourself from a situation. Others of you are going into some type of independent contracting, working for yourself, okay? Freeing yourself from the corporate world, okay? Kudos to you. Good shit. I'm proud of you, baby. Others of you are freeing yourself from a situation with the nerve sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. And some of you all, yeah, some of you all are, some of y'all are wanting to reach out to somebody or someone's wanting to reach out to you now that they know that you're single. Um, this person could be an Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer. 
For some of you all, it's after freeing yourself from a situation, possibly with a Taurus or a Virgo. A lot of you all are going into new cycles. You're going through a rebirth, so you're shedding your old skin during this time. For some of you all, there are, uh, there are cycles that are going into some sense of a renewal starting in the month of October. This could have to do with the Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus person, okay? And I do see that there's victory with that. For others of you who are choosing to work for yourself, by yourself, you communicating, I do feel the resources are going to be coming about when it comes to, so if you feel like you want to start a business, but maybe the, uh, maybe, Maybe the money is an issue. I literally just heard grants, okay? So for some of y'all, you really need to do uh, your re do your research. And I also feel that you need to be receptive to let people in that can assist you. Because I do I do feel that people are being used as tools, of the, uh, as vessels or as tools to get you um, to that space of elevation in which you're trying to go. For those of you who uh, do possibly have your own YouTube, for those of you who are in the public eye, I, I do see a massive success. I see a lot of growth during this time. There's a need for you all to be more productive. Some of you guys have become very complacent due to some type of reconciliation, okay? So for some of you all, you could have reconciled, you could be reconciling with someone who's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person can be younger than you, or they may come in on their best cute shit. Then there's a need of somebody needed to take accountability for something in order to to move things forward so that there's some type of um, mutual comprehension of what the fuck not to do that was done in the past. Because I do feel and some of you guys could also be reconciling you know, with an Aries or a Scorpio person. For some of you all, there was some sort of misunderstanding. Someone perceived the other one's actions all wrong in the past. And now there's a sense of coming together now that someone has completely went through some type of transformative period, okay? For others of you, you're dropping your burdens when it comes to dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I literally heard Sag. And as soon as you choose to do that, you're going to meet someone who is actually a soulmate to you. For some of you all, this is your fucking life partner who you put, who you sitting on the damn curb, who you sitting on the damn... uh who you politely placing in your pocket, you're unsure about this person because you haven't fully let go or released this particular situation that which you've been holding on to, but it's stressful. I feel like it's draining to your to your finances, it's draining to your faith, it's draining to your peace. And for some of you all, you are choosing to hold on to situations, okay? Some of you all, um, you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius person. This person could be talking about moving away or releasing themselves from a situation. It's a blessing in disguise because it's meant for you to possibly be dealing with this water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? I do feel uh, someone who you have children with who could have made you feel this sense of abandonment. This person is wanting to come and work it out. They want to bring some type of fairness into a situation with you. That was once stuck or not going anywhere or stagnant, okay? Some of you guys are walking away from a Pisces uh, to move towards a Leo because you feel like things have been standing still. You feel as if this person... Uh, doesn't have any ambition. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Pisces. Spirit said it's okay. I heard Sagittarius. I heard Taurus. I heard Aquarius. I actually am hearing Scorpio. I also heard Aries. I heard Leo. So you guys put those signs and see your situations how they go. Okay. Some of you all could be dealing with a Virgo who has a drinking problem. You could be committed or in a long term relationship with this person. This person in the past could have refused some type of help. In the midst of you trying to tell this person that you want to transition and be by yourself, they're willing to go get that help. Some of you all are missing a Virgo as well. You could have children with this person. You could be married or in some type of long-term commitment but separated from this person. And this person is resisting you wanting to come back and fix it because they have an offer new possibly from a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Gemini. Others of you could be wanting to, or some of y'all could be leaving the situation and having to make a damn U-turn because you're having a child with the person. As soon as I said that the fucking empress at the end. Some of you guys could also have a solid offer that you want to either give or you're going to be receiving. Um, possibly from a Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries person. Some of you all are wanting to rebuild rebuild on a foundation that was already stable when it comes to the practical sense but there needs to be some type of balance around family and finances okay and i feel that someone is willing to compromise with you okay some of y'all gonna get that damn aquarius a chance you manifested this person whoever this new person is where there's equal there's, a, there's an equal flow of harmony of harmony and balance in a relationship you manifest this and for some of you all it's going to come at a cost of you having to move away from something someone or a particular circumstance, okay? Some of you guys could be masking your masking your feelings or masking your pain when it comes. Some of y'all are smoking weed, getting uh, some of y'all getting drunk, okay? Spirit says, do not overindulge. It's okay to do what you do, but too much of anything is not good for you. 
especially when you're using it to mask your emotions. Uh, some of you guys are using uh, getting money, okay, to mask your emotions. But Spirit is saying, allow yourself to feel, to release the burdens, to, and also help you um, help you get through this period where you can actually embrace the the aspect of being receptive. To not put your wall up, because some of y'all is blocking your blessings toward the new, okay? Some of you all could have also been, um, some of y'all could have been trying to manifest in the cycle with the Sagittarius that is karmic. And some of you all could also be finding out that you're pregnant with the Sagittarius' baby. However, it's hard for you to trust this person. This could have happened with some type of reconciliation. So be careful with reconciling with, uh, with individuals during this time, especially with having unprotected sex with their ass and you trying to chase your bag and not a baby, and not a baby, not a baby stroller. Uh, because to be honest with you, the energy is here. Okay. Now, if you want a baby, again, the energy is here. The Aries new moon or full moon looks like damn good energy because I see a lot of full moons here. So I feel like this is a full moon. I'm not sure what the, um, but I think it's a full moon that's coming in. I do feel it's going to kind of, propel you into into motion where everything where everything's were stagnant i see a lot of movement coming toward the situation some of you all may also be receiving an offer to travel with somebody um and somebody really want to tell you that they sorry capricorn but they don't know how they full of pride and damn ego which they came by a motherfucking thing with and i feel like that's what pushed you out the door but you need them to check that shit and tell them or, or tell them where they can find that damn dough like waldo <laughs> gonna get right or get left period but i do see the coin looks damn good during this time, you guys. New opportunities. Some of you all have new job offers coming in within the second week of October, going into the third week, I'm hearing. And some of you all could also be, some of you guys are going to choose to have a conversation and stand up to yourself when it comes to a mother figure who could be a Leo. I feel like this person is very domineering. They're domineering from a space of fear of being alone, okay? And I feel like you're having to try and bring some type of balance and acknowledge, let, let this person know, hey, I acknowledge your bullshit and what you're doing because I feel like it's preventing you from being with someone who you truly want to be with. There could be an issue with a rift between the mother and the child's mother as well that will also be coming to some type of cease or some type of healthy mending, okay? I'm also seeing that there could have also been interference from someone's third party someone okay so you could be dealing with the with a new person who could be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio i feel that you really want to build with this person you really really want to start something new with this person however they could be being distracted by a child's father or a child's mother who could be a fire sign this could also be you who have a child's mother or a child's father who's an air sign or who's another earth sign like yourself. But I feel like something very divine is trying to come together. There's positive news about legalities as well. So if you have someone that's incarcerated, you could be hearing news about someone coming home early. Someone could be, I'm hearing early release. So someone could have an early release. And I'm also seeing someone knocking on somebody's door randomly. Like someone, Capricorn, you went off the radar. I'm hearing in the month. Some of y'all was in the month of April. Some, some of you all was in the month of June. I'm hearing some of y'all was recently in the month of August. If you went off the radar, and you were trying to hire from a Scorpio, a Taurus, an Aquarius, or a Leo, <laughs> ready or not, here they come, or a Sagittarius, you can't hide, <laughs> they're going to find you and make you want them, okay, they're trying to find you because somebody is not wanting to let you go, some of you all are holding on to a commitment with some, holding on to a commitment with a person who doesn't love you and I feel like it's just for show or there's some type of yeah some of y'all is having a hard time getting over a Libra you could have also gone through some type of divorce settlement or some type of uh, divorce or separation with the Libra person and either you or this person is now not wanting the divorce you want to reconcile you want to fix things you want to mend things for the children's sake also because you love this person but don't quit quit saying that you want to do shit for the kids when it's your ass quit being manipulative Capricorn men because the spirit said this is the men some of y'all is the women too, but Spirit touched on heavily the men. If you want to do something, you want to offer some shit, don't put it off on the next person as if that's what they want for that val for that need of validation. That's still some slick shit. Because sometimes that does not work in your favor. It's you, it's you or another person doing this, but they need to speak up and just say, baby, I love you. I want to cut the bullshit. I'm no longer indecisive. I want to equally give to you. I want to restart this thing. And boom, there goes the transformation versus holding on to this bullshit in order to get this. Because it still leaves you internally fucked up because neither one of y'all trust each other. Some of you all want to hold on to your Pisces. Fuck that past shit. Some of you all could also want to transform a situation before someone completely moves on. 
All right. So this is what I have for you guys for the month. Oh, hold on. I can't do that. Spirit, what's your advice for Capricorn? Oh, shit. Do my ratchet self. That was just some ratchet shit. Sorry. Yeah. For some of you all, it's accepting this new offer. Okay. This new offer that's on the table is going to bring you balance. Some of you all could also be seeing 222-444-555 and um, elements of the 7. 1111 11 as well. Yeah. Some of you all are, let people know how you feel. Speak honestly, speak authentically, and be receptive to this type of behavior because I do feel that for some of you all, it's going to bring you blessings and it's going to peacefully get you out of situations that have become extremely burdensome. As soon as I fucking said that shit, it's going to get you peacefully get you out of situations that have become extremely burdensome, okay? I do feel that there's this energy of confusion because you know what you want. However, what you have to get rid of seems like fucking running the damn marathon to some of you all and you like sis i got out i can't do this you know but listen spirit is saying later situation to rest is going to bring you healing not only healing but fulfillment in the end it's a blessing in disguise capricorn all right so if you guys need a personal reading hit me up in the description below i love you very much i send you peace love light and soul and i'll see you here for the mid-months don't be like tourists love y'all